Are Asians gonna start using this other sriracha over the original Hoi Fong sriracha? David, let's talk about it. Hey, man, I thought you guys were going to stay loyal. How are you going to go with the ops, man? We got to talk about it because people are buying the Underwood Ranch's Sriracha now. That's the original supplier to Huey Fong Foods. They ought to falling out. A lot of people are on this side. A lot of people are on that side. You're going with the Asians or you're going with the non-Asians. But who's right and who's wrong? And basically, people are preferring the Underwood Ranch's Sriracha that's now sold at Costco and a lot of people are debating, should we stay with Huey Fong or is it on to bigger and better things? Wow, wow. All right, we're going to talk about this for 10 minutes. Let's go, David. What is... So the overall issue is that, obviously, Sriracha, everybody knew they, were, they had a shortage. People don't know exactly why. There is rumors that there was a handshake deal between uh, Hoi Fong and the Underwood Farms, which was the chili uh, farm in Northern California, right? Now, they had a falling out. They split... Sriracha Hoi Fong has to get a new chili supplier. That makes their Sriracha now taste different. Underwood Farms now releases their own new Sriracha that tastes more like the old one, apparently. I haven't had it. And there's competition. So are Asians more loyal to the brand or not? What is your take? I think that it's obviously different. Some people feel really close to the green cap. Other people have already switched over to Trader Joe's. Some Thai people are mad because they're like, you know, that was not even real sriracha from Thailand. So <laughs> right, right, right. it does not matter to me. So everybody's like, a lot of people are on chili oil. And we have our own chili oil, smalasauce.com. So it's like... Uh, I just feel like it's different. Everybody perceives what has become Asian American canon or Asian American like legendary culture differently. Mm. Not everybody like perceives it the same way. Some people are just like in it for what's in their own interest as a consumer, but other people are like, nah, man, we gotta stay loyal. Yeah, I get well, I mean, what's your what is your personal opinion? How do you uh, feel about it? I think I can see where like I'm never going to go against Kuei Fong. We've met David Tran. You know, I spoke Kanto with him before. But it's like, uh, he's already rich. So, it like, I'm not going to ever be like, oh, man, you switched over to that Sriracha? Because, you know, even some of the ones, like, I had a Kroger Sriracha one time that was, like, kind of decent. Right. And that's, like, super not Asian-owned. But, yeah, do I think that it's, a, it's an interesting discussion to have? I mean, it's better to support Asian-owned businesses, right? Especially one that became like an Asian American thing that somehow became mainstream. Yeah. My thing is like, I'm probably not going to ride for the Underwood farms one also because I, even with the old Sriracha, I do like it. And I'll always have like a bottle on hand, but I wasn't like crazy about it. Like I'm not the biggest Hoi Fong food Sriracha fan of that taste. I always supported the brand, but I, I didn't even put in my pho because I eat pho with the chili garlic sauce and the hoisin instead of sriracha. It's way sriracha. too strong in pho. Yeah, so to me, I definitely am not going to ride for the Underwood Farms one, even if it tastes more like the old one. But I'm not going to, like, riot about this, Yeah, I, I mean, guess. I want to support a 626 business yeah. originally based in Rosemead, just like Panda yeah. Express, Pasadena to Rosemead. I mean, listen, he had a really good run. The formula has changed. Hopefully, people still come to love the new formula, but it's a little bit different. Why do you think people seem so invested in the drama of, like, supporting? Because it's basically a he said, she said, where it's like, oh, they had a handshake agreement. Some people feel they're being underpaid. Some people feel like they're being overpriced. And then it's like, you know what I mean? Like, people really dug their heels in the sand for each squad in the comments I mean, section. it's a, it's an iconic Asian-American brand. It was started in America. Um by an Asian immigrant, and it's an iconic brand. So I think people feel very closely to it. I think to some people, it's part of their identity. I, I know a lot of people dressed up as sriracha bottles for Halloween Mostly over the years. Mostly non-Asian people. I'm not saying I haven't seen Asians do it, but I would say a lot of non-Asians do Yeah, well, I saw a lot of... I, and non-Asians love to saw... Everybody loved Hoi Fong sriracha. Everybody. Um, so I can see why people are up in arms, but... I guess given the drama and the shortage, there was kind of this buffer period where like Sriracha kind of left you. Like we were on a break from Sriracha. You know, like right. when you're like infatuated with someone, you're dating them, and then that person goes on a trip for like three, four weeks, and then you don't see them. And then it's almost like, how committed are you to that person? And it really questions your love for them. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people were even just talking about the taste of sriracha, how it's just kind of spicy, but it doesn't have a lot of depth of flavor to it. I know that you always said that. Like you have never been a big... Quay Fong Sriracha. I, I didn't say those exact words. You're putting words in my mouth. I just, 
I just thought it was too strong for my pho. I do like sriracha. I do like the hoi fong sriracha. I think it does have quite a bit of taste, but I really don't think it belongs on everything. Yeah, I think that there, the market had to open up to more optionality. Like, I wouldn't want to ever have to say you got to stick with uh, only one type of Lee Kum Kee soy sauce or Nico, Kikoman. You know what I mean? Like, the game is, like, super opened up now. There's, like, yeah. five tiers of soy sauce you can buy all the way up to the ones that are, like, $25 a bottle, small batch. Like, if you got the bread and you feel like it's worthwhile, nobody has to be loyal to anything. Right, you know right, what I mean? right. I mean, just as a consumer. I mean, I guess it's, like, it's capitalism. I think it's... I definitely don't think it's like racism when it comes to at least these food products. I think sriracha is in its own tier. I don't think anybody's biased against it because it's Asian owned. And I don't think, do you think like there's some like racist people that are like, well, thank God Underwood Farms started their own because I was, I was looking for a time to switch off this Hoi Fong stuff because I didn't want to support an Asian. I want to support Another white. I will say that I noticed that um, a lot of white people, they're, they're quicker to switch to a white-owned brand than an Asian would be. Yeah, well, I think some Asians feel guilty, which is fair. I think you... Right, there is some level, like whether you feel at a tiny level or a middle level or again, a high level. Again, to me, I'm not switching. I'm not switching because I'm still on the sriracha, but I just But are never... you on the Trader... I see you bought the Trader Joe's sriracha last week. Yeah, I have it. I try it. I mean, you know, I buy... The, you, know, you, you buy what's in front of you, so if it's convenient, it's... it's I, I, I think the out. truth is now, with the AI algos and everything, everybody can make a good version of sriracha. But, of course, the pepper farms and the age you pick the peppers and everything, it's going to create variants. Yeah. Ultimately, Andrew... Is this important, unimportant? What does it show about the Asian American community? And is Kuei Fong Foods, has its time as like an untouchable legend passed? Oh, has its time and is an untouchable legend. Is it kind of like watching LeBron like turn the ball over? Is this, it's like, is this like watching Jordan on the, on the Wizards? Michael Jordan on the Wizards. Kind of like rough, by the way. Well, not saying that it's going to end for Sarah. I mean, Hoi Fong Foods still going to make millions no, of dollars a year. They're going to be fine. legend is... The legend it's is... The peak is over. I, I do think the peak is over. I think the peak was when the shortage happened, bro. I, told, I said this in multiple videos when we covered it. I said, unfortunately, there is now an open space. And certain restaurants, a lot of restaurants... And here's the thing. Restaurant retail is big because restaurants go through a lot of sauce. The restaurants who used to buy this old sriracha, they couldn't buy sriracha. They switched brands. And as long as that didn't affect the restaurant's bottom line... What is their reason to switch back to Sriracha? It's true. And I know that Sriracha always wanted to stay a hyper traditional old school company and not really expand into like modern logos. They never went public. And they never went like into diverse product yeah. offerings. So, you know, there's pros and cons of everything. It killed it for them. Hey man, they're rich for life. Let yeah. us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.